Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am going to get started in my Cherish collection. I know that in previous videos I mentioned that I was going to work in Grace, but I started feeling the time crunch on Valentine's Day and I just felt that I needed to get started at least. Maybe I will work on the two interchangeably, but I definitely felt when I got up this morning, I edited a get cozy video. That one is rendering and then I can upload it. I just really felt like it was time to jump in to the Valentine's Day collection. So those of you who are waiting for some videos with the fairy journal, I promise it's coming. I just really felt like today this needed to be my focus. So I'm super excited. I have a tub like usual with the tubs, a tub full of Valentine's Day things. I've been on YouTube, I think for about four years now, and I loved friend mail back in the day when I first started. So I have a lot of Valentine's Day things left over from then. So I didn't really buy anything, but I am gonna show you. This is the collection, but because of the fact that I have such well, I have a tub full of Valentine's Day craft supplies that I barely use. I definitely needed to pull some things out of my stash. So I'm going to share with you what it is that I'm going to be incorporating into this journal. Okay, first of all, in my Get Cozy journal, and actually in most of my journals lately, I've really been enjoying cutting up some old file folders. You can see that this one's even been used and making tags out of them, journaling spots and things. So I pulled out some more file folders. I will confess, I did buy this paper pad this year. It is the Be My Valentine Echo Park paper collection. This is the paper line that I used in the collection on the cover. And since I had pieces of it already, I decided that I wanted to order the entire collection. So for anyone who has this collection and might be interested, I will leave a link down below for this. And then one more paper pad, you guys, because it was $3 at Tuesday morning, I picked up the Crate Paper La La Love paper pad. I really love this size paper pad for in my journal. And it was a great price and it's super cute, so I couldn't resist. I have some leftover Dollar Tree rose petals. I probably used these in my journal last year. I have a whole series on my channel. Um, it was like 14 days of journaling that I did last year with last year's Valentine's Day collection. So for those of you who haven't seen it and might be interested, I will link that playlist down below. I am specifically not going to look at those videos so that I might do some things that I did last year because that's what I like, but I'm trying not to go back and look so I don't remember the things that I did and copy myself. I want this one to be fresh, but I have to admit, I like the petals on the pages of my journal. So I probably did that last year. I might do it again this year. And these are my leftover Dollar Tree flowers. So I had some friend mail 2018 from you lady, my sweet friend here. And she made me this cute little shaker card and she gifted me some wonderful stickers. So I'm planning on using these super pretty, you know, just heart stickers and look at these puffy stickers. So I pulled these out. I also pulled out some things that I got for 80% off last year at Hobby Lobby, which is just these red and pink tags. I probably won't bust into this this year because I don't think I'm going to do anything with flamingos. I need to send those to some friends who actually, you know, live in Florida or something. But anyway, I um, pulled this out. I also have this little vintage book of Valentine's Day stickers. Some of them are gone, but I thought those were super sweet. So I thought those might be fun. I picked up some things at the Target dollar spot. I found a few packages of these pink doilies and they are the size that I love for in my journal. So I have those. I also found these in, you know, the kids section of the dollar spot. You make my heart sore, cute little Valentine, but I love the size of these paper bags. So I thought that might be fun. I also picked up this package of 10 cards and envelopes 
and they're called love notes. I think you fold it and then maybe not. There's this cute little envelope, which is really what I bought them for. I thought those envelopes were super cute. And then these were back in the greeting card gift party. What's that brand called? I forget. It starts with an S. Anyway, it's one of Target's main brands that they carry and they had these paper bags. So I thought these might be fun. And then I had some Dollar Tree items. These are left over from years past, but I know that they still have them. Actually, this is from this year. And this was a set of gift bags. I loved the cat. So I pulled one off of the gift bags and I'm not sure, but I'm hoping to be able to put that sweet little kitty in my journal. And then I always love this package of table scatter that comes from Dollar Tree. They're just really pretty glittery hearts. And then I pulled out these set of stickers from Dollar Tree. Again, I always love the hearts. And again, with the sweet little kitty, that bird one is super cute too. So those are all the items that I pulled out of my bin and we'll see what gets incorporated into my journal this year. I'm super excited to start playing with this. It's a snowy, cold day, so these bright colors are perfect. Okay, so no plans. I haven't made any plans. I haven't opened this journal. <laughs> I love, love, love those beads. I tried to put a lot of fun goodies in here this month. Things that I was excited to play with. So hopefully you are enjoying yours too. And I just like pulling everything out so I can see what I have and poking a hole in my bag. That's a bummer. My fibers and my clips. Okay. Lots of tags and goodies. If you haven't seen this collection and it's something you might be interested in, I will leave a link in the video where I shared everything that's included in this collection. I do still have some left over in my shop. I made a few extras this month. So if it's something you're interested in, I'll link leave those links down below. So I definitely know that I want everything to be flashy and sparkly and fun. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I pulled out my little bin of Valentine's washi. So I know I'll be using this as well. This is just stuff I've collected over the years. Some of it is from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Dollar Tree when I've been lucky enough to find their tape. So yeah, that's what I have going on there. All right, I pulled out this picked raspberry again. This is an ink that I just used in my Get Cozy journal, but I think it's beautiful with the pink in this collection. And I also pulled out my candied apple Tim Holtz ink. So these are the two inks that I plan on using. Since my cover is red, I think I'm going to use pink on <laughs> my library pocket. So how's everybody today? I hope that you are staying warm if you are so lucky to be in a cold state like I am, <laughs> or if you're lucky enough to be in some beautiful weather, I hope you, that you are enjoying it. I do have to say that I feel a little out of sorts today. I don't, I'm very excited to get started in this journal, but I don't have a plan. I'm excited to be catching up on some things finally, but it is a little overwhelming to do so much at once, you know, <laughs> but that's okay. It's working out. Okay. I like that. So I actually think I'm going to attempt incorporating some blue. This is the Peacock Feathers ink pad. I don't know. We'll see. I know that a lot of the Valentine stuff that I have, like the stickers and things, has this pretty blue type color in there. So I just didn't want to make it red, you know? All right, so these are the two six by six papers that came in the collection. I think I like this black and white check and I want to add it to the whole library pocket this time. 
I think. So I'm going to just measure it. I want a little bit poking off the side, so I'm going to make it just under a three and a quarter by three and a half. Getting a little off camera. I've been having issues with that because I have my camera flipped. <laughs> like usually the camera is on this side and now it's on this side. So it's a little tricky for me. Now the only thing about this black I don't know, maybe I like, I love, love that rose print, but I feel like that's not what I want on that red cover. I want the black, <sighs> but it's all black. So I don't know that I'll be outlining it, I guess. You know what I forgot to buy? Oh my goodness. How am I going to survive? Let me show you. Maybe I'll have to pick one up before I finish this journal, but I love this gold leafing pen. This one came from Hobby Lobby. I've seen them. I've picked them up at Walmart before, but I have struggled to find them at Walmart recently. So I don't know. I'm going to have to pick one up when I'm in Hobby Lobby again, because that is what would be beautiful on the edge of that card. Okay. I'm just going to round the corners and use it as is. I still haven't gone and bought some more Fabri-Tac glue, so I'm just going to use my art glitter glue today. I know this paper's thick enough that it won't warp it. And I'm also, if I can get the glue to come out, I'm also going to be using my hot glue gun. I'm kind of addicted to that. I know it's not acid free or long lasting or anything. I wouldn't choose to use it in a journal that I was making for somebody else, but I don't mind doing it for myself. If something pops off eventually down the road, I'll glue it back on or something. I'm just going to take this heart tag that came in the collection and use that red ink around the edges. I think I'm going to do a little bit of layering here on the front pocket. I've mentioned it before, I love Valentine's Day. I love these colors. It just brings a brightness to the gloomy weather, you know, which I always am thankful for. Pulling out some of this washi tape. Oh, I think I should warn some of you now who aren't familiar with me. I am sure this is one of those collections that are going to seem very busy to some people. <laughs> I am not a minimalist at all when it comes to playing in my journals. <laughs> I really like, especially the holidays, I don't know what it is, Valentine's Day, Christmas, I just like it to be fun and whimsy, which usually for me means a lot, of, a lot going on. Some people f have felt that way and that's fine. Everybody's different, oh great, this shows you how you don't want to have old washi tape sitting around that you're not using because it gets peely like this. Actually, I had issues with this washi tape when I first bought it. It came in one of those Michaels sets, like a large box of it. And so many of them were, I don't know, had signs of age like this. And that frustrated me. I should have returned it because now it's, you know, a year later or two, <laughs> probably two. And it's um, not gonna get any better, I, okay. I won't be using that one. Maybe this Made With Love. I think this was a Target tape from some years back. Might need to add some glue to that one, which is actually a great way to use some of those tapes that just aren't as sticky as they should be, like the Dollar Tree tape. I'm just going to trim this off next to the paper, I think. Yeah, 
and this washi doesn't want to stick on that glitter, of course, so I'm going to just add a little bit more glue. It doesn't want to stick to the glitter, so I'm taking the glitter off. Goodness, who knew washi could be so much trouble? And I'm just going to add it, I think, over the top then. <laughs> Who knew I would have so much trouble right off the bat? Okay. I just want to encourage you guys, if you have not subscribed to the design team members, you will definitely want to check them out. I am sure they are going to create some beautiful journals this month, and I can't wait to see what they do. So if you want some added inspiration and you haven't checked them out, please be sure to check them out. I will link their channels down below. I do love some of these things that are in the collection. Maybe I like that wood veneer piece there. These super cute pink price tags, but there's a lot of pink going on already. I love these little tags too. Okay, let's see. Maybe some kind of sticker word here. Ooh, or maybe I want to look at these Dollar Tree foam hearts. Maybe I like that. See, I told you, I get pretty busy really fast. <laughs> but I like it. It's fun to me. And that's what's important, right? Is that you like what you're doing. Okay, well, I pulled some old stamp sets out of my stash. This again is an old stamp set. I know I'm, I apologize for always using old stamps, you guys. I don't buy too many stamps because I feel like I should use what I have. <laughs> so these are some old Valentine stamps as is this set. So I think I'm going to use these a little bit. You can see that's the Be Mine that I put on the tag. Okay, I think I like that. I'm going to use this little word, love, here. And I'm just trying to get rid of cat hair. And I'm just going to start gluing this down a little bit. And I'm going to use this art glitter glue again. This is what I love about this glitter glue is that this tiny little tip makes for fabulous <laughs> gluing when you have little things. For anyone who might be interested, I'll link this glue down below too. For anyone who doesn't have it already. Okay. It dries clear too. I always like that. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to add some little heart washi across the top of my card. And consider this pocket finished. Maybe, maybe, did I speak too soon? Probably, <laughs> maybe I need something cute down here. All right, you guys, there's this great sticker sheet in this paper collection that I showed you guys in the beginning. Oh my goodness, so cute. I think I'm going to just use this little sweetheart sticker and put it down here on the bottom, cover up this Jotmark brand. <laughs> there, I like that. My daughter is down in the kitchen and she turned on some music, so I hope that is not getting picked up on my phone. I can hear it, hopefully you guys can't. And I'm just, let's see, do I wanna do that? Where's my doilies? Yeah, I'm just going to glue it down. I might add something later to this cover. 
but this is a good start. I might need to, I think I'm going to add some hot glue to help keep this packet in place. All right, I didn't add a doily there because I think I might, if I know me, I like doing that over here. Okay, so I decided I'm going to use this white heart doily from the collection and I'm going to add it to the top of my page here. Because the other page is red, I think I'm just going to ink the edges of this red just slightly. So I know that I am busy catching up on these collections from the last few months, but I have to tell you guys, as I'm putting together March's collection, I'm getting excited again. <laughs> it's really a challenging one for me. I think I might share some things with you guys along the way, maybe on um, the Facebook group for sure, and maybe on Instagram. Okay, I'm getting a little carried away with the red ink. I only wanted to edge it a little bit. It looks pink, doesn't it? Oh, well. Anyway, it's just different colors for me, but I didn't know what direction to go with it, and it's starting to come together, I think. Like, it's one of those things I felt like I had to pray about and get some direction and then things really started coming together so I'm excited as I start getting things in the mail I think I am going to share a little bit more so if you aren't part of the Facebook group you might want to pop over there if it's something you're interested in seeing okay I will say these four inch heart doilies are awesome. I will tell you if you would like to pick up some others. I found some at Meijer and I found they're at Hobby Lobby. They're pretty easy to pick up. If one store's out, I would check another, but they're the four inch doilies and that is what fits so beautifully on these pages. This is one of the cut aparts that came in the collection and I think I'm going to use it as a tuck spot here on the first page. Just wanna ink it up again. These are so cute. I think they're like copies of vintage Valentines. So sweet. I think I'm just going to use some hot glue here to make my pocket. I'm gonna only close it on the inside of the card. Because I think this garment tag is one that I'm going to add in here. Okay. And I think I'm just going to knot this string. I like leaving the strings. They don't want it to go anywhere. And I'm also going to trim it just a little. Right. Okay, so I think I'm just going to take one of these tickets from the collection and just staple it onto the side. And then maybe just glue on one more little red heart. All right, you guys, I think that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. For those of you who purchased this collection, I hope that you have been able to start playing in yours. 
and enjoying it as well. Anyone, again, who might be interested in the design team or purchasing a collection for yourself, those links will be in the description box down below. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.